Hi, I'm Chris Sorrell. Let me take you through the world of medieval. Medieval is a 3D action adventure game written exclusively for Sony PlayStation. It's kind of a game set in a magical land um, where the player controls a skeletal knight as the main character. It's kind of a strange choice of the main character. And certainly when you see him, he's a strange looking character. Um, but I think he's a little bit different from the normal. At the start of the game, um, we actually see him being brought back to life uh, by the magic of an evil sorcerer. And throughout the game, he's then pursuing this sorcerer through this uh, medieval land called Gallomir. Uh, the game then follows his adventures through 20 levels uh, and the player basically gets to explore the levels, explore the world via a map screen which links everything together. Effectively you go from start to end and there are certain things you'll see and do along the way but also once you finish the game there are still levels that you may not have seen so you can go back and try different routes and uh, explore areas that you didn't see the first time around. Development on the game started with the art and design back in January of 96. It wasn't until September of 96 that we actually started work on the PlayStation version and we've been working sort of flat out since then really. There's quite a lot about Medieval which makes it quite different from um, other games that you've, you've seen in a similar genre on the PlayStation. Probably one of the biggest features I'd say is the diversity of it. There's a lot of different situations you find yourself in in the game. The first stages of development really, obviously design, um, for Medieval, I worked with Jason Wilson, the lead artist, to, to get some, some fairly firm plans before we started doing any actual in-game work. At that stage, we then brought in um, some artists and programmers that were actually going to start get the game engine together, get the art together. I think the best part of the job is just having the opportunity to be creative, to do something which hopefully is going to give people enjoyment and you know, the actual creative process of it is, is fun. Hello, my name is Jason Wilson. I'm lead artist and designer working on Medieval for Sony Cambridge. Well, first of all, we start with a brief from Chris Sorrell, the producer and uh, designer of uh, Medieval. And he normally comes up with a title for the name of a character or a level. For example, you might think about a scarecrow creature, so an actor to noun. With pencils, design sketches for what could be a scarecrow creature, things it could do, attacks it could do towards the hero Dan Fortescue. And then take them back to Chris, and we OK them and flash out a few, a few more ideas and hand them to our other artists on the project. Inspirations for Medieval, from my point of view, I think come from films mainly. Um, without saying too much, probably things like Tim Burton, sort of kooky horror films in the 1950s, sort of comic strip type stuff. We did a whole lot of paintings and drawings. Then we handed them to a few artists who did mock ups of these drawings on 3D with 3D graphics on screen. And then we kind of like pretended we were playing the game and uh, took it from there. Medieval's built on a pretty big scale, um, taken from sketches of the landscape of Gallimere. We then worked out various locations and environments, and we wanted to make a game where you could move through the, the whole land in different routes. This is not a level, level, level based game. This is a, a whole 3D environment that we can explore, and uh, we don't think anyone on the PlayStation has done anything quite like it so far. My name is Jason Wiley, I do the computer graphic cutscenes for Medieval. I also do the in-game texture mapping and modelling. The uh, computer graphic um, cutscenes are designed to tell the story of Medieval, um, how, how Zarok was, was brought into it, how, how Dan was resurrected, that sort of thing. And it takes you all, all the way through uh, this land called Galamir, all the way through to Zarok's lair right at the end into the City of Madness. My favourite cutscene is the uh, ship scene. Um, I've always, I've always liked galleons. You know, I lived lived by the sea for quite some time, and yeah, it's always appealed to me. And you know, that's my pride and joy. My name's Mitch. Um, I'm the animator for the medieval team. Basically, I do all the quirky little characters that uh, make the game what it is. I get to do take the characters, place them into an environment and generally add my own characteristics to them or people that I've seen. For larger characters such as Dan himself, um, he's got about 30 yard animations, so he takes a lot longer, people, the way they move, the way they talk, 
how they interact with other people. That's, that's more of an inspiration for me than anything else. Hi, this is uh, Paul Arnold, Audio Engineer Extreme. <laughs> and this is Pete Murphy, he's the AV manager for uh, Sony Cambridge. And he's responsible for myself, Andrew Barnabas, the other audio technician, and Tom Oswald, video engineer. Thanks. The music um, for Medieval, we were given free reign from pretty much the start. Um, the game's been developing for quite some time, so we've had an open slate to develop all these tracks. The uh, development of each individual track um, could range wildly from a day right the way through to a week perhaps. So it's a, a work hard and play hard scenario. Mm -hmm. 